Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Atomic Shop since it reset it. It's today's Tuesday. Plus, we have a free Power Armor skin for the Fallout First members. I'll show it to you and go in a little bit more details, etc. So, basically, I'll review the entire thing. Uh, afterwards, we're going to take a look at the daily and weekly challenges, see what we got to do for daily ops, and that's where we're going to be pretty much calling it quits for today's video but you can always use the timestamps to maneuver through the video so let's not waste some time and jump right into it Alright, so let's start off with the follow up first section and as I've mentioned today we've got the blue uh, demon prototype paint. So there we go. <clears throat> and it is limited for 27 day, well 28 days. Uh, so I have in mind that uh, we have no idea if it will ever return. Although uh, a quick kind of like my thinking, these things don't return for some reason. There were a lot of limited uh, items that haven't returned not a single time. So. Uh, I'm gonna claim it and display it to you and jump into a little bit of details. So once you've claimed the skin, you can go to your power armor workbench and apply to it. The only thing I've noticed that they usually the skin has a number one sign, meaning that it's a follow first item. For this one, for some reason, it's uh, showing as if it's a uh, um, atomic shop. So that's weird. But anyway. Uh, so I got the skin onto my uh, excavator power armor. Let me jump into it. Oh, whoops. Anyway, let me s drop away from those fire things because, man, those things are loud. So, bam. <clears throat> now, according to the patch notes, I mean, not the patch notes, the, the shop itself, because the patch notes are late as usual. Uh, the paint works with any power armor. Uh, any power armor basically. So this is how the power armor the paint looks like. Not bad actually. There's another version which you need to grind for. Uh, it's in the nuclear winter I believe. I really don't remember the rank you need to hit. It's been a while since I played uh, nuclear winter but it does look really nice. Look at that skeleton over there. The details. I mean the skull. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's available only to follow first members, so uh, if you want the paint, uh, you will need to apply for the follow first membership. If you don't want to be like on the monthly basis and continue purchasing it, uh, then you can always cancel uh, the membership and whatever you've claimed, you're still able to use. So uh, if you're to acquire this, uh, the follow first, ap apply for the paint when the one month uh, runs out, uh, you will still be able to use the paint. And on top of everything else, you would get all the other benefits such as the stash box, atoms, and all of that stuff. But then you can cancel it and uh, wait and renew. I know that people sometimes buy the membership, grind the entire month, put everything in the uh, scrap box, take uh, whatever skins are available, cancel it whenever they don't need it, right? And then resume whenever they need it or they want a specific item. Uh, now, as I said, as, I, as I've mentioned already, uh, like for example, I got a lot of questions in regards to the NCR uh, advanced and elite uh, skins. Uh, those were limited. Those came a couple of months ago, and those never returned. So I'm not sure if they will, if they plan to return. Maybe I hope so, but uh, I believe it's not going to be like uh, r like it's going to be a rare case scenario. I guess I don't know. It, they've never returned, so I can't comment there. So essentially, as I've mentioned, if you claim it. Uh, and you cancel your follow up first, you're still able to use the paints. You will not be able to deposit the junk into your scrap box and other stuff. So, uh, if you got questions, ping in the comments and I will try to help you out. Anyway, so let's continue with the atomic shot. Alright, so the first section we're going to take a look at is the Old West. And we got a bundle over here. So we can see that we got ourselves a new uh, vending machine. Then we got the Western Bar modular set okay there's a whole bunch of stuff in here okay so man why are the patch notes always freaking late Bethesda like 
I like to read more into this thing. But anyway. So we can see... Okay, these are three wall mountain fish. Three wall mountain fish. Those don't look like mount... Ah, there you go. These are the fish. Okay, three standing fish. Okay, and probably... I don't know if, if that shelf is included in a bundle because I've never seen it before, so it might be one of those. But as I said before, and I'll say it again, they need to really put this like the items on their own into here so we don't have to guess what is included and what is not included like that wallpaper is definitely not included don't show stuff that is not like show items like this like we can see okay this is the vending uh, robot cool then you can have shown those uh, like f fishes and like I don't know and make some I don't know something but so we don't have to guess if it's something but anyway we got the fish uh, statues, whatever. We got the uh, fish on the wall. <laughs> so I believe this is from the bar set. Ooh, is that a slot machine? <laughs> Alright, so we got the fox weather vein. I have no idea. Ah, okay, there you go. We got the rooster weather vein and the goat vein. So, bam, bam. Uh, the windmill ceiling fan, okay, and the wooden saloon door, the wooden, where the hell is the door? <laughs> Am I blind? I don't see no door here. Bam. Another thing, improve your Atomic Shop freaking descriptions and what you're showing to us. Because 1,500 atoms is kind of big number, you know. So, yeah. Well, I'm going to buy this bundle and I'm going to review it uh, neither today or tomorrow. So, one of the two. Have in mind. Oh, there we go. We got the saloon door. There you go. Why is it not in the bundle? <laughs> That's a good looking door. <laughs> So if you plan to make a, a, a saloon, Wild Wild West saloon bar, that's definitely something you want to grab. Okay, so we got the Old West bar set, so that's how it looks like. And it's included in the bundle, then we got this included in the bundle. Uh, Wes bar tool, okay, I believe that is included as well. Uh, bar modular set, bar stool. Okay, yeah, that's included. The mountain fish. You see, there you go. You have it right here. Why, why not put this, uh, over here? Like, like this. Exactly. There you go. No, you you make us like jump from one thing to another. Okay, this is clearly you can see it's a uh, for a wall decor. Like, this was should be in the bundle. That's 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 what we need. I mean, to get a clearer picture, understanding what we are about to buy. And for the skins collection, I'm gonna grab it. 50% discount is good. It's not new. It's been out before. Uh, wallet wood. Oh okay, yeah, that's that's looking nice. Maybe in some future I'll do camp build videos. So I'll just grab it. All right. So I already grabbed that one. Da 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 da. And I will buy this uh, right now and uh, make a review later because this, this video is going to be extremely long if I make a review of this right now as well. Alright, the Night of Terror section. This is the section that came to us last week, uh, so there's nothing new. I'm not going to be buying it and I do not buy it. Well, there's, I already left my comments on the previous Tuesday, but the doorbell seems to be good according to the feedback that I received. And uh, I'm just gonna wait for it to pop with the disco. It's like this is this all this for me is no rush, and uh, this skin can also wait for me. Uh, no rush. Uh, I'll buy it later with some sort of a disco. Greatest hits, uh, best of the best, uh, Mothman outfit bundle, which includes a whole bunch of stuff: <clears throat> alien Mothman mask, uh, mental Mothman mask. Man, there's a whole bunch of these. These cultist things, the power armor, 
paint bundle over there. The cultist headpieces set, these two right here. I, I used to have this bundle by the way on PC. I'm not sure if I want to rebuy it here because I don't really use that. The Pip Boy paint, there we go. So that's the alien uh, mask. And that's pretty much it. And well, as you can see, all of these things are here. Uh, for a thousand two hundred, oh no, man, Th this bundle is pretty old. I mean, I'm gonna wait for a bigger discount. No, thank you. Uh, rustic wallpaper over here. I, I would, I would tell you what were the prices if I would have access to the patch notes. Unfortunately, I don't because they delayed them again. And uh, the Atomic Shot has uh, reset it 50 minutes ago. Just so you know. Uh, classic Western bundle. Boom. To be honest, I already own this weapon skin. I bought it on like 50% discount for cheap. I didn't know that it was included with a bundle. I should have bought it within the bundle. Uh, the Western Duster outfit is included. The Cowboy hat, Western hat is included. And I believe this is an Under Armour or another outfit. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, we see that. I think. I really don't know, to be honest. So maybe for future notes, maybe brackets, Under Armour, Bethesda. Because I remember there was some sort of a like similar Under Armours in this nature. So we got that over there. I'm not gonna grab it for the Western Duster outfit because it's a pretty good uh, outfit. And if you combine it with the red bandana that you can find on the ship, uh, I actually made a review for it before. 100% uh, location to find so if you want to take a look at that playlist take check it out uh, vending machine set okay I already have it uh, county girl under armor there we go so this is the under armor okay cool so but you see that looks like an under armor as well in my personal opinion it don't look like an outfit like outfits are more of I like that you know so don't take me as granted I don't know myself uh, gold paint for the 44 gold it's a good paint I mean if you use this gun pretty much good to have uh, to, uh, to use uh, I usually display it but I plan to play some pistol bills as well hopefully to find a good gun uh, the cactus set with a 60% discount I don't know. 60 I'll take it uh, vendor signs Pretty good ones, by the way. To make a like, you can put it next to your vending machines, and you know, people will understand. Okay, this vending machine is selling guns, etc. Although there's a whole bunch of other ways. Warning sign set. To be honest, save your atoms. I have it on PC. They look kind of cool, but they're not worth 120 atoms even. Like, that's my personal opinion. And still, they take budget. I I'm gonna wait for it to come with a bigger discount. Plus, it's a very old item. So, definitely, that discount should be, like, 60%. If it, if it were to be 60%, I most probably would have gotten it. Alright, let's go to the vaulting section. Alright, so at the vaulting section, these are the things that are leaving the vault. So, the Free States Junkyard Paint uh, Power Armor. Uh, cuddles outfit, whatever. I I'm gonna wait for it to pop with a discount. The pumpkin head, also, I'm gonna wait for it to come to the discount. Look, this thing isn't even not displaying the actual items. Uh, scrapper power armor paint. Wait, they're selling it individually? Well, if I would recommend to buy the entire bundle, the entire bundle is actually really nice. So you'll get a whole bunch of better stuff. Uh, the pickaxe paint set. I'm not sure what's the discount for it. I got it just to display these things. Uh, I don't remember when the hell I bought this. I think it's part of some bar bundle, I believe. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't buy this. Black overalls. Very old outfit. Uh, this was the first outfit I ever bought. On Fall 76 when I was on PC and I bought it during beta so I was like in a rush because we were given like an hour to three hours to play uh, and you know without looking like from like I just looked at it like that and I thought man this is some 
uh, <laughs> you know, like Spec Ops outfit or something like that. I buy it, I start using it, and I'm like, like fishing hooks. I'm like, what? Fisherman? Ah, oh, you cockroach. <laughs> oh, that is still a pretty decent one. Mr. Fuzzy Player Icon, 50% discount. No, thank you. Nuclear Glare with a 50% discount. Woo! -hoo. But for Paul's 200 atoms, no, thank you. Even 50% discount. That's not going to force me to buy that. All right, and now we're looking at special free and special offers. Okay, so we got the Volt Boy Weather Vane, a free one. I'll grab it. Thank you for not a player icon. Uh, two tone door. Huh? I don't remember this. Okay, it, it's a door. Uh, scavenger Collectron Station. This is the... I, I don't even remember, is it? Do you have to pay for it? I thought it... Man. This is like the very first Collectron, to be honest, and I don't really remember if you have to pay for it or not. <laughs> Maybe it's free? No? no? I don't think so, man. Bethesda and lots of free items. That's not Bethesda. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to pay for this one. But it's the very first Collectron. So, I don't know. I don't really don't care about those collectrons to be honest. And the Pale Rider. One of the four horsemen. Okay. 20% discount. Nah, man. I'm going to wait until it pops with a bigger discount. And then I'll buy it. And the last section is Tresentinel, or whatever, however you pronounce it. How long is this thing going to be in the game? Can you please get rid of this section? Nobody wants this. This was, uh, like, available since the very start of this game. But okay. I personally only use this item. Uh, Uncle Sam, just a few times and that's it. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at the daily challenges. Today we, today we have to buy or sell an item from another player. Pretty straightforward. Completely Complete a daily operation. That's also pretty straightforward. We all do the daily ops every day. I do them every, every, every day. Multiple times to farm ammo, scrib, caps, you name it. Uh, complete an event one time. Okay, gold star. Complete five dailies and this will trigger automatically. Join a group with another player. Straightforward. Kill a cryptid. Cryptid, it could be uh, Snallygaster. It could be Grafton Monster. And you can kill all those guys if you, for example, come here. There is uh, uh, Snallygasters and there are other guys. Why am I so awake? Oh, because I'm inside the power armor. Right. It removed my uh, grocer mod from the backpack. Uh, let's get back to the daily challenges. Uh, then level up one time, straightforward. Nuclear winter survive for 10 minutes, and that's straightforward. <laughs> All right. So for the weeklies, we've got build up a workshop or camp. So you gotta spam these displays or shelves, floor, ward decorations, whatever you have in those sections doors build water or uh, plant crops 10 times build generated light connectors and so on so pretty straightforward complete daily operations five time uh, complete this one you should do it today if you're planning to do the dailies and uh, complete uh, the goal uh, yeah the goals if you complete this one it will automatically trigger this one and you'll get a lot of uh, score atoms I wish <laughs> Uh, complete an event 10 times, destroy uh, robots, so here's the list of robots, I would recommend going to White Springs and uh, all, you can find pretty much all those robots over there. <clears throat> or Vatoga City, whichever works for you best. I would recommend uh, White Springs. Uh, drink a Nuka Cola, 25 of them, what the hell? <laughs> Well, Nuka Cola, you can find a whole bunch of them all over the damn place, especially in, at the uh, Nuka Cola plant. So if you go there, you should be able to find a lot of decent amount of uh, Nuka Colas. Uh, if you don't find any, that means people have picked them up. So you might want to server uh, hop, hop, hop. <clears throat> all right, what else do we have here? Uh, harvest the wild plant or fungi. Pretty straightforward. Kill, an, uh, kill a legendary enemy 10 times, okay, repeatable XP, okay, scrap pre-war money, 
a hundred of it the best way to obtain it is going to the airport uh, and over there if you run straight to the barracks it will trigger the event and you uh, defeat five waves of scorched and essentially uh, you get a hundred uh, of that pre-war money here I think the best thing is to show it to you just in case if you're new alright so once you fast travel to the Morgantown Airport you will end up in this location right here what you want to do is run this way if you don't have froglet I mean uh, the mutation marsupial to jump Froglix is uh, nuclear winter. <laughs> uh, you run this way and all the way pretty much to that location. Oh. Sugar bombs. Oh man, that's not the one I need to make my brain bombs. Coconut Oach game. And you go all the way over there and bypass that wall where it says quarantine. Once you enter, the event should trigger and you will need to fire up that flare thing, this collision course. You fire this thing up. Boom. Scorch Beast will start flying, but you don't have to fight it. But you will uh, trigger the thing that you, where you have to fight uh, five waves of the Scorched. Once you defeat the five waves, you will need to wait for the vertebrate, vertebrate or the container, whatever. Basically, a flying thing to deliver your pre-war uh, money for you. And usually, it's always over 100 pre-war money. So that's pretty much it, and I'm not going to do it because I don't need score. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but uh, I jumped to a lot of different servers, and it should have already reset. I do remember I killed robots yesterday in Valley Galleria, but I don't remember what was the mutation, and today we got the Freezing Touch, which pretty much slows you down. But I really... is it the same? <laughs> anyway... I hope it is because man I jumped like five servers and all of them they have pretty much the same thing and this thing has, should have reset it eight minutes ago so if I'm showing something wrong I do apologize call Buck Tesla <laughs> alright Z-Clan and everybody else this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them I see them I read them and I delete them so if you got something positive or negative to say, feel free to drop those comments, but don't swear, because if you do, as I said, they will become invisible, nobody will be able to read those comments nor react. So if you want some replies to your comments, don't swear, simple as that. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan, I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. If you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so, the link is down in the video description, as, as well as with all my other links, such as uh, links to my Twitch if you want to see me going live, doing my live streams, uh, show additional support on Patreon, etc. So just check it out and uh, click on what you feel like clicking, you know what I mean? <laughs> so y'all have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys lock it at, and I'll see you on the next video. And by the way, I do apologize, I haven't had the time to edit my end uh, screenshots. So basically, most of you know that I replaced the end screen screenshots uh, taken from our Discord that you guys share and make shoutouts th through the entire month. Uh, those screenshots that I feel like are the best. So uh, I'll try to do that tomorrow after tomorrow, whichever comes. It's just being real busy. So, catch y'all later. <laughs>